So, you want to make a pixel art house, you came to the right place. Hey guys, welcome back to Tessic by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Ace Byte once again. Uh, taking a look at how to create this pixel art, uh, top, top down type of pixel art house. That's difficult to say, top down type pixel art house. Um, so we're gonna get started today, open up a sprite, and what I want to do is I want to open up a, uh, size, and this size, uh, we, uh, we'll go with, uh, 64 by 64. Why not? We'll go by 64 by 64, and what I want to do is I'm gonna close the preview because we're not gonna be doing any animation in this tutorial. Um, so we're gonna zoom in here. We don't need our timeline, so if that's open, hit tab to close it right there. Um, and what I want to do first things first is I want to I want to try and uh, grab a grab a palette over here because I love the the edge 32 palette. So we're gonna load that palette. Um, so I'm gonna go about right here, just drag a little bit of a roof. I want to get this line as straight as possible, so something like that, perhaps um, something like that, maybe a little bit shorter. Um, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So we'll go right from this line, oh, right from this line. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Maybe go across like that, right there. And we will create the other side of this as well. So we'll go ahead and go down uh, just a little bit. And we'll go up, creating the front of the house. Something like that, maybe. And then right here, we'll do the same thing. And we'll go down. Uh, that's not even. That's a little too far. So we'll undo that and go up right there. And we will go down from this one. We don't need these two pixels right here, so we can get rid of that. All right. We got a pretty good base going on so far. What I want to do now is go ahead and take this time to draw in the rest of the house. I want to go ahead uh, right about uh, maybe here. And we'll just go on down, something like that. Maybe go with a little one pixel right there. And we'll go down from here as well. And I'm going to turn on the grid so we can see uh, the width is going to be one by one. I want to turn on the grid so we can see exactly where these lines are lining up, if that just made sense. Uh, so right there, sounds pretty good. Um, and I also want to make sure that this line right here goes all the way down as well. So we'll go ahead and line that up about right there. All right, so now our house is symmetrical. So I want to go ahead and add a little side piece over here. So we'll extend this section to go down a little bit further. And then maybe we'll come down like this. And then this end will meet up with the rest of the house right there. All right, so we can get rid of these edges because we don't need that right there. So we're looking pretty good so far. I want to go ahead and, and go back to brush mode, that piece. All right, there we go. Something like that uh, looking pretty good so far. What I want to do now is I want to add in some windows. This is the fun part because, like I said, you can pretty much do anything you want um, here. I'm going to hit L to go back to line mode. And I'm going to create a little bit of a lip for the roof there. Because um, it's looking kind of thin, in my opinion. So we'll go ahead and just do something simple like that. And with this, I'll uh, I'll drop that down, something like that. Make it a little bit more, oops, make it a little bit more um, pleasing to look at, uh, and not as not as mitchy, mitchy, matchy craziness going on. All right, uh, right there. And we'll add that piece in. And we'll get rid of that, and this one as well. All right. So we have a little bit of a lip for the roof going on now, which looks pretty nice. I want to go ahead and get rid of that. It's a bit too, it looks kind of long now, so we'll go ahead and, and tone that back a little bit. All right, so I want to get rid of this top piece right there as well, so we will do that. And, uh, and like I said, now we're going to go ahead and add in the doors and the windows. So we can, like I said, we can pretty much do anything we want at this point. Uh, uh, this, is the, uh, this is the fun part. Go ahead and just draw in a little bit of a door. Um, I'm holding down shift, by the way, to get this cool line going like that. And right in the center. And oop, we have to fix this and put that down one. Because that's not in the middle, and that's going to bother me. All right, there we go. And we're going to go ahead and go down. Something like that, maybe. Maybe we'll do, a, a, like, a triangle window up, up top here. Uh, something like uh, like that. And we'll go down. Uh, yeah, why not? A fake me out garage, maybe? Maybe that's what we'll do with this over here. Do something like that. Drag that down. And then we'll put some lines going across. But we won't do that in this color. But I'm gonna, I want to bucket fill since we're running out of time here. I'm going to hit G, and we'll bucket fill the roof there. Um, I'm going to turn grid off now since we don't need it anymore. And we'll go a little more towards red. And we'll go ahead and take this opportunity to hit the line tool once again. Draw a little bit of a line in between that, those, uh, those edges that we had before. All right. Something like that. That might be a little bit too dark. Or maybe this is just a bit too light. So we might darken this color right here. This yellowish color. Make it a little bit more yellow for maybe like a uh, weird looking cement maybe. Something like that. Yeah. Weird looking uh, maybe. Something like that. Yeah. Why not? 
Um, and the windows, I'm going to go with a kind of sky recreation type thing. So we're going to go make these all blue. Um, and then we'll put in some cool stuff later on. I'm going to make the door red. Maybe a brighter red than that. Okay, so now with the type of texture and shading I'm going to do for this, it's not going to be too difficult. I'll do the windows first. And we'll just create some, uh, some lines in there. Maybe something like that to give the illusion of a shiny of a shiny window and we'll carry those all the way through um, some of them anyway so uh, that's done for that uh, we can actually make that blue a little bit lighter so we can go up to that white a little bit lighter replace color and I'll replace that color with a lighter blue looks pretty good so we're okay that and now we can go ahead and move on to the roof I want to grab this color by hitting I to eye drop that and we'll select that and just drag that color down just a little bit um, so we'll go ahead and just hold down shift there to get that cool nice line going on so every second pixel, I want to add in a line. Um, and then this one will go over one um, to stagger them a bit. To make this a bit easier, instead of redoing that entire thing, we can actually take this time to go ahead and, ch and choose the rectangle box select. And we can go ahead and select by holding down shift. We can select all these pieces here. Let's copy and unselect and then paste. Um, and now we can move this over here and we will go ahead and flip vertical okay so now that we have our roof done what I want to do is I want to go ahead and do a little bit of shading on that to make it look a little less uh, weird um, so what we'll do is on every other layer on every other line sorry we will go ahead and darken this color up just a little bit more and we'll put in some variation this variation will be on this edges these edges right there so we'll just go ahead and uh, drag that all the way down and then like I said on every other line I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, you know create a little bit of a little bit of weird looking you know just texture lines pretty much essentially what they is what they are just literally drawing in a few random lines just up and down that axis trying to make sure that they're not uh, as similar as possible to the one that was before it um, just go ahead and try to try and keep that in mind don't don't make it too similar to the one that was right next to it or right after it all right, so the roof's done. I want to go ahead and take this time to do the garage door by uh, eye dropping that that door right there, dropping the color down, and going on every other line, just like we did for the roof. For the actual building, I want to go ahead and drop this color down, make it a bit darker, and change it a little bit to the orange side. Um, and we'll go ahead and create a little bit of a shadow for this by going and creating some lines by holding down Shift um, and creating a shadow for the roof coming down onto the house like that and also on the garage side over top of the windows here I want to do the same exact thing and over top of the door as well on these edges we can add a little bit of variation as well by going ahead and stacking up those that shading like that kinda in that similar fashion kinda like a weird looking W I guess and then just to fade that off we'll go ahead and do something like that now to simulate the uh, look of a texture, we can go ahead and just add in some slant, some sideways lines uh, in this fashion right here, maybe resembling like uh, maybe maybe brick, maybe even um, some type of paneling. I don't know, maybe something something like that. But we'll go ahead and just simulate some texture with those few lines like that. It's crazy what you can do with pixel art just to make uh, a very subtle effect shine through. Okay, uh, so on all four of the corners, I want to do something maybe similar to that and drop that down. Maybe on the bottom half, we'll do a lot more shading um, to kind of simulate the, um, the flatness of the door, I suppose. Maybe something like that. And then uh, we'll drop it down again, change the hue a little bit, and, um, and we'll replace those four corners that we had lost by creating that shadow like that. All right, so I think that's going to be it for our pixel art house tutorial. I like the way that came out. I do want to do a little bit of variation for this door over here, so I'll go ahead and lighten this up. Um, and while I'm talking and finishing off the video, we'll, we'll just do that garage really quickly like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this pixel art tutorial. Let me know if you want to see more pixel art tutorials in the future. I love pixel art. I love doing pixel art. I love looking at pixel art. It's great. Um, definitely gives me that feeling of nostalgia, and it definitely has those glorious pixels feeling. So I will see you guys in the next tutorial, but until then, bye.